gang, another problem coming at you from chapter three. Forces on a particle. Um, the particle's a little bit bigger this time. No, it's not really bigger. All the, all the forces come together at the same point. Uh, but this time, we've got a pulley. Pulleys seem to try to blow people's minds, but there's one thing you need to know about a pulley in statics, okay? And that is this. Number one, we don't have friction until chapter eight in statics, so it's way down the road. So everything you're gonna see in the earlier chapters are magic frictionless pulleys, okay? So they don't have any friction. So if you have tension on one side of a pulley and the rope goes around that pulley, guess what the tension is on the other side of the pulley? The exact same. The only time it would be different is if it was dragging across that pulley and there was friction there. Otherwise, it's like the belt in your car, right? The belt in your car goes around a bunch of pulleys and things, right? Well, the tension in the belt over here is not different than the tension in the belt over there. It's the same everywhere, okay? So if this is T, then that's T, because that messes a lot of people up on this problem because they're like, oh, well, there's gonna be one rope there, one rope there, one rope there, and then a rope pull it down. Well. That's too many unknowns to solve for, right? I've got unknown rope, unknown rope, unknown rope, but I only got two equations. I'm going to be in trouble. So Johnny Weak Sauce would do that, but not us, right? We're like, no, wait a second. Rope goes over a pulley. It's the same on both sides, yo. If that equals T, then that equals T. So what I'm going to do, again, free body diagram. I'm going to look at that joint right there, okay? That joint. Because they say, find the tension and cable, and they give it to you right here, right? A, B, C. What does that mean? That means that this, this whole business right there is all one cable. So A, B, C is one cable, okay? And then D, E is this little guy right here. What is it doing? What is the force, we'll call it force P, uh, in, in rope D, E over there, okay? To keep it in equilibrium. Okay, so here's what our free body is going to look like. We've got that force, uh, we'll just call it FDE, okay? And then we've also got, in the same direction, I've got force uh, BC. But you know what? I'm just going to call it T. I'm going to call the tension in this rope here, right? In this one rope right here, wiggly rope, right? I'm going to call that T everywhere so it'll be the same. So I don't have different letters there. Okay, I'm going to call you T, and then this way... There's another T there, and then pulling down on this whole system is our 1,500 Newton weight. So the only thing we got to do here is notice they didn't give us any angles. Well, but that's okay because we're smarter than the average bear, and we're just going to use some of these triangles that they gave us here, right? So they gave us that this side is one meter, and this side over here is also one meter, so boom, right now I know that's that's 45 degrees, yo. All of this stuff right here is at 45 degrees, okay? That's easy enough. And then I got this guy over here, right? This triangle here, which is 2.5 down here and one there, so to find that angle, we'll just use a little tangent, right? Tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. So 1 divided by 2.5. I've got to use my handy dandy calculator. Oh, my handy dandy calculator is no bueno. Okay. Every time I turn it on, I have to push the memory clear button for some weird reason. Okay, so 1 divided by 2.5 equals 0.4, and then the inverse tan of that is 21.8 degrees. So theta equals 21.8 degrees. So that goes here, 21.8 degrees. Okay, all right. What we, what's left to do? Well, we've got some vectors and they're at angles. So what do you think? By the hundredth time I've said this in these videos, it's time to break it into components. Okay, let's do it then, okay? So this guy over here has two components, and they are T uh, cos 21.8 and T sine 21.8. Now over here, it's a little tricky because I got two cables. They're the pulling in the exact same direction. So um, the, the, the F cable is gonna have one here and one there. 
and the T cable is going to have one there and one there. Okay, so the T cable is going to be T cos 45 and T sine 45, and the F cable is going to be F cos 45 and F sine 45. Okay. So now that I've got those labeled, man, how easy is this going to be now? If I can find my pen, here it is right here. Okay. Sum of the forces in the X. Sum of the forces in the Y. Okay, here we go. Let's do the X first. I'm going to do the positive ones first. I'm going to do those two guys. T cos 45 plus uh, F cos 45. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, yeah, this guy over here is in the negative X, this guy. So minus T cos 21.8. Okay, now I've got to do the Y's. So I've got three uphill guys, one, two, three, and i got one downhill guy, so he's going to be negative. Uh, I'm trying to keep my order the same, so I'm going to do, do this. Um, T sine 45 plus F sine 45 plus T sine 21.8 and then minus the 1500. Okay. Now there's some things I can do here. I know that uh, cosine of 45 is 0 0.707. That guy's 0 0.707. I know that this guy's 0 0.707. Um, and this guy's 0 0.707. I don't know those other ones off the top of my head. So let's calculate that. Okay, so clear, 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 clear. Cosine of 21.8 is 0.928. 0.928, okay, and then the sine of 21.8 is how much is that? 0.371. So what do I have here? Let's just, I'll rewrite these equations in a different color and kind of clean all this up a little bit, okay? What color is going to come out of my pocket? Green. Okay, here we go. We're doing it in green. Ready? Um, what I'm going to do is combine these two T's together. So 0 0.707 minus 0.928 is negative 0.221. So negative 0.221 T plus 0 0.707 F equals to zero. There's one equation, the green equation, right? Let's clean this one up. Okay, so um, 0 0.707 this time plus 0.371, 1.078. So 1.078t plus 0.707f, and I'm going to move that 1500 to the other side, equals 1500. And look what I have now. I have two beautiful equations. The t's are in line, the f's are in line, the constants are in line. Dude, I can use my system solver. Watch this. This is no problemo. Okay, so I'm putting this in. Uh, negative 0.221. Enter, enter. 0 0.707. Enter, enter, enter. And then 1.078. Enter, enter. 0 0.707. Enter. And then 1500. Enter. Now I'm on solve. Solve, boink, done. How easy is that? So T, which is, which is T, A, B, C, right? The tension in this cable here, right? T, A, B, C is equal to 1154.7. Okay, and that's in Newtons, okay? And then the next one, it gave it to me also, they gave me the, the value for F, and it's 360.95. So T, D, E is 
0.95 newtons. Okay. So definitely my system solver coming in clutch. Okay. Now, what makes these problems so dang easy? It's beautiful free body diagrams, man. If y'all will just please draw big, giant, clear free body diagrams and label them in color. And then how easy does it make to write these equations if you have that all labeled out and nice and beautiful? It's so easy, y'all. How are you missing this on the test? All right, let's don't do it anymore. Okay, gang, I'll see you next problem. We're going to talk about some springs.